All right, everyone, welcome. I'm just about to queue Mick in all the way from Russia. Hopefully everything goes all right. And uh, let's welcome in Mick. And there he is. Welcome. Yes. Hello, Mick. Hello, hello. Hey, Gary. Hello, everyone. Yep. Thank you for having me. And I hope that everyone is staying safe and doing great. And today we are gonna, we're going to work on couple skills it's a little bit advanced we're going to take the b press and i'm going to also give you some of the exercises and tips uh, of how to get the better meta performance and basically what we're going to start from uh i want to i want to explain what equipment we're going to take so if you guys are training at home and if you would like to join into the class you can pretty much do everything step by step as I go as well. So uh, what we're going to take today is going to be a couple of books. Better if you have yoga blocks. It just I don't have yoga blocks, so that's why I take books. And also, if you do have the ankle weights, this is a very useful tool as well. And the other thing is the mm, the resistance band. This one, if you had it, if you had it in your house, this is also a very useful thing. Uh, on the sides of all of this, uh, we're gonna take either uh, a soft chair, you can take uh, just a regular couch, or you can take um, just a basic chair. Take the pillow, just like that, just a regular pillow. Um, and I'm gonna explain later why we need that and. If you do have that incline bench, just like that, that would be great. If you do not have it, uh, you can also um, you can also use your your couch because we we're gonna perform some of the exercises as dragonfly, but you can also do them on the floor. It's just a little bit more advanced, and it's just um, a better way for you to understand how to create trauma for man. So, if everything is going well and you guys can hear me and you can see, I just want to double check before we start the actual class. So, Gary, let me know, please. It's Say what's the um, high presses, or the, like how high presses works for me. So, the high presses is really about, of course, our abdominal muscles. Um, it's about our hip flexors. And it's a lot about our muscle stabilizers and mobility within our shoulder joints. So that's why we're going to focus on a certain areas and a certain muscle groups today in order uh, to be able to achieve a better performances um, at these certain skills. All right. It's morning time for me. So for you, it's already like a kind of lunchtime. But anyway, I hope that everyone is already awake, so just bring your head from one side to another. The warm up, we're gonna stretch, and afterwards we're gonna start to perform all that strength exercise. All right, just bring your head back and forth. So we we'll start from the neck. All right, guys, so now you're gonna take both of your arms, both, both of your forearms actually, and keep it on the back of your head, just like that, and then just start to roll your head from one side to another. And as you go and do that, make sure that you keep pushing your forearms with the back of your head so you can activate your neck expenses. All right, everybody, that's enough. Now just perform with the shoulders. Mm -hmm, a little circles. Let's get four more. Three, two, and one. Push your shoulders forward. And four, three, two, one. All right, keep your arms on the side. We're just gonna take a little bit better warm up for your toes, the back, front, and the middle part of your shoulders. And we're gonna take four, three, two, and one. All right, just keep your arms on the side and proceed with the tiny arm circles to the back so you can actually retract your shoulder blades together and feel a little bit of cramps right in between of them. We're gonna take 
five, four, three, two, and one. I'm ready, everybody. To start with the legs apart, take one vertebra at a time, front body tilt. As you reach the floor, one vertebra at a time, start to take the body extension. We're gonna take the same thing four more times. And three more. And two more times. And one more time. Everybody, take your arms right above your head. Soften your knees a little bit, and then as you're going to take the front body tilt, you're about to push your hips backwards. So we're just gonna take a little bit better warm up for your lower back. And at the same time, we're about to stretch the back part of your hands. I mean, the back part of your thighs, so we can stretch your hands and prepare them for the deep presses. Because the more you're flexible, the better flexibility you have on the back of your thighs, the easier for you to lift your trunk up and the easier for you to actually hold your V-press. All right, take your legs together, lock your knees, lock your knees, take your arms right behind your head and lean your body forward for 10 seconds, flat lower back, it's still remaining and we're about for five seconds, four, three, two, and one. We're about to take the front body tilt with your straight knees for eight more, seven, keep pushing your elbows outside, keep your chin natural, and we're gonna take the same for four, three, two, and one. All right, everybody, uh, we're about to keep your feet apart, get your hands right behind your heels, and drop your um, drop your hips all the way down. As you're dropping your hips all the way down and keeping your hands right behind your heels, we're gonna start to take the upward squat. So you keep pushing hands right but then afterwards you start to extend your legs and locking your knees at the top. All right, everybody, a few more. Let's get three. Let's get two. Now let's get one more. All right, everybody. So the next one, we're about to tighten up your hip flexors. I hope that you can see me clearly. I'm about to get down on the, on the yoga mat. And then just push your knee up towards your chest. Just tighten up your hip flexor. We stay in here for 10 seconds and then we're gonna switch your leg and take it for five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Switch your leg. You can hug your knee with your elbow and keep pushing it up towards your chest. And we keep holding for five. And just a couple more seconds. And let go. All right, so the next position is just a regular pick. You're gonna grab your knee, extend your leg, and then pull your up towards yourself as close as you can so you can stretch the back part of your thigh better. So we're still going to take that active stretching for all of the body parts we're about to work on. And the more you're flexible, uh, the better you proceed with the warm up, the easier for you to do all this stuff. It's, it becomes way more doable. Okay, yeah, let's take it a couple more for each side. One more each side. And the last one. All right, so grabbing your heels. As you're grabbing your heels, you're about to slide your heels forward. And at the same time, keep pushing your chest and your belt down towards your knees. Lift it up, tuck your knees up to your chest, and then proceed with the leg extension back knee. Let's go three more. Keep pushing yourself forward. Keep pushing yourself forward. And the last set, the last breath, we're gonna take for 10 seconds. So we're going down, keep pushing yourself all the way, and just remain for 10 seconds. Ready, set, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, everybody. 
getting into your right lunge. Just right knee in lunge position, keep pushing your chest up. Keep pressing your chest up without arching in your lower back. Keep pushing your hip down to the floor. And we stay here for a few more seconds. And then afterwards, we're about to straight out your forward back. Begin. We stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Switch your leg. Lift your chest up. Do not less, uh, do not uh, arch within your lower back. And keep pressing your hip down to the floor. We're about to straight out the forward leg. 10 seconds, drop your chest. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And that's enough. Get it down into your struggle seat. Legs apart, and we're just gonna stretch your straddle position real quick. Get your arms to the side. We're about to take your front body tilt without reaching off the floor with your chest and maintain your back as much as you can straight. Ready, instead, go. We're going 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and taking it all the way down for 10 seconds. Arms above your head. Keep stretching for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and that's enough. Okay, everybody, let's take a little bit more attention to your shoulders at this time. And let me just Clean this up a little more. All right, so keep your hands right behind your shoulders and you're gonna keep pushing your fingertips to the side so far. As you take your fingertips to the side, you're gonna proceed with these little circles all around the circuit movement within your shoulder and keep pushing your elbows back as you go. Three more circles before we switch your side. Two. And one. All right, it's opposite direction. Get ready, steady, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, everybody, so now the next one, you're going to keep your hands to the back and a little by little take those tiny steps with the fingertips as you reach your maximum. I'm going to scoot back, hopefully you see me. As you reach your maximum, you're going to take your hands to the side and then bring your palm hands to the back. So put your knuckles on the floor, through the side, and then lift your arms by the ears. Afterwards, you take your hands back to the side and start to take those steps with your fingertips back into the same position as you started from. From here, again, keep sliding through the side, lift your arms up, knuckles on the floor, Supinate and put your arms up over the ears. Bring your arms back to the side and then took those tiny steps back into the beginning position. We take it one more time, one more time only. Knuckles on the floor, supinate, arms up over the ears. Bring your arms to the side and tiny steps back into that position. All right, good enough. The next one, we're going to take your resistance band. If you don't have it, if you don't have your resistance band, you can take the towel and keep your hands just a little bit wider than your shoulders. And then from here, for 10 times, we're just going to take the rolls. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. If you feel like your shoulder is more flexible, take your hands closer. If it's too much, take your hands wider. We do it for 5. Four, three, two, and one. All right, guys, that's enough. The next one, let's take more attention to your wrist because we're gonna flex a lot. Um, bring your finger towards your knees and then 
and get those rocking movements as you start to take the swing back and forth. Keep your, keep your chest right above your wrist joints. And just two more. And that's enough. All right, bring your fingertips over to each other. And then externally start to rotate your wrist outside. Externally start to twist your hands outside. Mm -hmm. We're going to take it for three more. Two. And one. All right, guys. So the next one, you're going to keep your fingertips towards each other and take those, um, take those push ups when you're pushing your elbows to the side. And you're going all the way up. Only four times. Three. Two. And one. All right, beautiful. Keep your hands in front. And you have the option, you can do it on your knees or you can actually start to get into the regular push-up position. From here, without all the swinging of your body, you're about to take your palm hand off the floor and take it back. Just make sure that you don't swing, it's all, it's all about the strength. So you can pump your forearms a little bit before actually take it into your press. Alright, couple more. Alright, that's enough. The classic one. Shake. Shake, 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 shake. All right, and let's give a warm up to your core. And as a warm up, as a warm up for your core and for your hip flexors, we're gonna take the V up. The V up is when you bring your upper body and legs up at the same time. The only difference now, we're gonna take it with one leg at a time. All right, so you're taking it down. You land on the floor. Keep your arms up with the ears, pushing your upper body up and kick at the same time. Everybody, six to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so now for the better warm up for your heat pleasure, we're just gonna stand and keep your leg right in front of yourself for 10 seconds each leg. Get ready, set, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, almost the leg. You can take it against the wall for the other balances. Get ready. Go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Whew. Okay, guys, take a quick sip. We're about to push into your V press at first. And like I said before, Get your yoga blocks or get your books ready. And so this is what we're gonna do as we proceed to the first exercise. You take, I'm just gonna give you a step-by-step -step, uh, little guidance. So you can take and do the same thing as you are right now. Okay, so or, or books, we're about to take the regular um, the regular tuck press. The regular tuck press, we're gonna take for three sets, three sets of five seconds only. All right? So you ready, steady, go. Five seconds, five sets. Let's go, five, four, three, two, and one. As you proceed into your tuck press, try to don't try not just get your feet and bottom of the floor, but try to squeeze your reps as much as you could and start to curl the trunk up. Your fingertips are gonna look forward, but then afterwards, as you lifting it up, uh, you're gonna try to dig your fingertips into the blocks or into the books and make your wrist goes down. At the same time, you, you're about to get your trunk up and curl it up. Ready? Set, go. So five, four, three, two, one, and get it down. All right, guys, we're gonna take the same thing, three more sets, and so you understand and see uh, the, um, the drill more clear, I'm gonna give you all the things with uh, a different positions of mine from the different um, point of view. Get ready, set, begin. Five, four, 
three, two, and one. Okay, everybody, just one more set. And for those, uh, for those uh, who, uh, who, who can do this exercise yet, I mean, it's, it might be pretty challenging. You guys can move up towards the wall, get your blocks, or you can go from your hands. With the blocks, it's just a little bit easier. But if you cannot lift your bottom of the floor, you're gonna take the position of the one forearm from the wall and take your hand right, right where your palm hand. All right, so your elbow is gonna be right in touch with the wall, but then your palm is gonna be right into the same position um, as you touch the floor. And then you're about to straight out your arms, cross your knees, I mean, cross your shins, and then lift your bottom up and try to reach your shoulders with your knees so you can um, curl your trunk a little bit better. Okay? Ready, steady, go. And five, four, three, two, one. And we kick down. All right, uh, so the next exercise, it's, it's all the same about the options. You can do it just on the floor. If you, if you, if you have your L press, it is just great because um, in my opinion, you definitely got to be able to at least hold this if you want to get your knee press or hardware presses afterwards, okay? And then, again, you can do it on the floor, you can do it on the blocks, or you can do it against the wall, all right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you a few different options of how you can do that, uh, but the next exercise is going to be about the tuck position and the one leg opening at a time. And remember, like I said before, you've got to make sure that the back part of your thighs are flexible enough so you can start to um, extend your legs a lot easier. All right? So this is what we're going to do. You take your tuck, and then as you perform into your tuck, you're about to open your leg one at a time. Let's take just two, um, two leg extensions, and then we're going to take it down. But because it's all about the strength of your abs and it's about the strength of your stabilizers, we're not going to do many repetitions. So it's, it's pretty much going to be two repetitions, but two seconds each, and every time you do them, you're gonna push your back, so like you gotta do um, really, really full power if you wanna achieve it faster, okay? So if you're ready, set, begin. Lift it up, and we're going one, and two, and six. All right? We're gonna take four more reps, you're ready? Now take the blocks. If you can, do it on the floor. Ready, set, go. Lift it up, and we're going one, and two, and six. All right? Same option, a little bit easier. You can do it against the wall. You can do it on the blocks, or you can go without. It's up to you. Ready, one distance, uh, one forearm distance away from the wall. Ready, set, begin, and one, and two, and six. Okay, so what happens? Uh, every time you straight out your legs, you take a lot more pressure for your abdominals. You take a lot more pressure for your hip flexors. So this is a great exercise um, if you want to start to work towards your V presses. And if you want to make it a little bit tough, a little bit harder, you can also take the ankle weights. And this is like amazing too, it works every time. But make sure that before you take the ankle weights and you're trying to make the exercise better, I mean it's harder, make sure that you have this exercise in the correct way. So it's better to take the easier stuff and make it correct than take something harder and make it poorly. All right, because this is not the way you're gonna take that faster uh, benefits of the exercise. So take it easier, but make it strong and make it look good. Okay, so the next one. This is actually um, a great way for you to understand how to lift your legs up higher. And at this time, we're gonna use the band. You're gonna take the band and put it on your feet right in the center of your planter. From here, you take uh, you take the band and take it right behind your head. So you're gonna take a seat the way it is. And right now, we're about to keep your legs straight all the time. Get your regular L press, and then out of the L press, we're about to bring your legs up as high as possible. All right. If you have the pillow, you can take it right behind your back, 
just in case if you fall on the back, you can make it soft to yourself. All right, so keep it safe. Um, again, if you want to make it even, even more doable, you can take the blocks again, okay? I'm going to do it without blocks, so you see what you want to work with. All right, we're going to take only five leg lifts. Ready, set, go. And five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so this is still pretty challenging for your abs, and this is still pretty challenging for your hip flexors, but because you have that resistance uh, of the band when you take it right behind your neck, you're about to start to pull your legs up, and it makes it a lot more doable too. All right? So this is a great exercise when you feel like your um, abdominals and hip flexors in the, in the process of a big fatigue already, but you still want to work on, and this is actually a great tool to build up the, the strength in that certain area. Okay, so get ready. And again, if it's, if it's really hard for you to lift yourself off the floor, you can take the blocks and do it with the blocks. Get ready, set, begin. Five, four, three, two, one. Or, you can also take exactly the same exercise. You can take the blocks and you can do it against the wall too. Don't forget, one forearm distance away from the wall. Then lean back, feel your shoulder blades on the wall. Like you, like you literally uh, shift the weight on the wall. Get ready, set, and begin. We're going five, four, three, two, and one. All right, this is a great exercise too. All right, so everybody, the next one is going to be about your hip flexors. Uh, we're not going to use any bent at this time. And you just got to take the regular seat. And as you take the regular pike seat, you're going to bring your feet right in front of yourself. And I'm pretty sure that you've seen this exercise before. You might have even tried it before. But this is also for great new hip flexors. Uh, so make sure that you're constantly leaning your shoulders forward. You're gonna start from here. The more, the more you push the upper body in front, the more benefits uh, will, will get your abs and the more, the more beneficial it's gonna be for your hip flexors as well. All right, so we're just gonna take your legs off the floor one at a time for 10 times. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Both of your feet together, 10 times. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. If that's really hard, you guys can also do the same thing with your legs apart. And as you take your legs apart, you can lean your body forward a little bit more as well. Uh, this is going to bring your for your abdominals and for your hip flexors as well. So we're also going to do it with one leg at a time, another, and then try to get your heels off the floor at the same time. Get ready, steady, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Opposite leg. Ready, set, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and one. All right, so now from your regular struggle seat, you're gonna push your shoulders forward, take your hands as far as you can in front of yourself, as long as you can lift your heels off the, off the floor, okay, and keep it up. So 10 reps as well, get ready, steady, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Whew. So, uh, what I'm showing to you is basically the assembly of different exercises I've, I'm pretty much using to myself in my workout routines, but I don't take all of them. I take maybe three or four exercises and I create a circuit training of approximately five circles and then I just push it, push it, push it, push it, push it, and then for the next workout I take something else. So, 
Today, it's pretty much more um, as a show, as a showcase, so you can see as much stuff as possible within one hour. Okay? So normally it should be it should be more sets, it should be more circles, but we're gonna take only one. Alright, so the next exercise is gonna be your tuck swing into the V press opening. And let's think you're also gonna take uh, with your blocks. So out of here, as you get up, you're gonna swing and curl your hips a little bit further back. Afterwards, your body to start to open your hips up, curl your curl your bottom up, and then as you take this, the top position of your bottom, you're about to straight out your legs. You're ready, steady, and go. So swing, and up, 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 two more, and one more. All right, so this is, um, this exercise is um, strength combined with dynamic, and why I find this exercise so good is because uh, as you're going up and you're extending your legs, you are currently uh, under the mode of a lot of uh, momentum gaining. So for you to be able to stack yourself and don't fall, lots of stabilizers start to work, okay? Uh, it's not to make the, the V-press easier, it's not to make the V-press more doable to open your legs up because of momentum swinging, but this is about how to train your stabilizers. So with the time when you're gonna do that and your V press is gonna become better, you might stop it for two seconds on top and then swing and then stop it on two, uh, like for two seconds on top as well. And right now we do it with blocks, but this is actually way more, no, way more um, beneficial if you guys do this exercise on the high P bars, okay? High P bars or high parallels. So if you're ready, we're going to take the same thing for just one more set and then we're going to move on and I'm going to start to explain you the drills towards your horizontal uh, horizontal support, which is mana. Ready? Matt loves your V-set drills. I'm sorry, Gary, I can hear you. Ah, uh, Matt loves your V-set drills. V-set drills, right? Yeah, so this is all, this is all V-set drills. So all, all we do now is everything about the, the V seat or or V press. You make and, it easy. Oh yeah, I mean I I I, I did pretty much all, all my life, but it's Monday and it's been a long weekend, so <laughs> it's it's pretty challenging for me right now as well. Can so you see the chat screen on your end. Uh, yeah, yeah, I actually see the chat now. <laughs> Gary is a champion. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm talking to myself. Yeah, yeah my first gravity rush it since. Uh, yeah, alright guys, so anyway, uh, let me show you, let me show you just one more set, um, and then we're gonna move on, alright, and then we're gonna start to take those, uh, those drills for, um, the, the high V press. So get ready, set, and begin, five, four, three, two, and one. Uh, the one thing I wanted to tell you about the presses uh, and overall information, every time you're lifting yourself up, you've got to make sure that you're constantly pushing your shoulder and with your palm down into the floor. So, it's not going to make any sense if you're just trying to hold your presses with your shoulders up by the ears because your bottom won't go off the floor as high. So, you've got to make sure that you're constantly pushing your shoulders down. Alright, so let's just Stretch your abs real quick. Stretching your abs real quick. And stretching your legs. Just to get a quick recover. Alright. So the next exercise is. And uh, the main stuff we're gonna start from basically from the understanding of how to how to lift your trunk up. And to me, uh, to me, the beginning of the of the mana press is it's all about um, understanding how to do the backward roll. <laughs> it sounds weird, but um, but anyway, like if you guys understand how to do the backward roll um, and you understand how to lift your trunk up, it's very very similar um, 
very similar hips position and very similar hips movement at the same time. So what we're gonna do, you guys are gonna take yourself down towards to your sofa or couch or uh, soft chair. You can pick your favorites and then get your bottom very close, like in touch, in touch with that furniture. And then from here, right at the bottom, you're gonna grab it. You're gonna grab it like either at the very base or you can take it up a little bit higher, but you gotta keep your hands um, locked so you can't like pretend that you glue and you stick your hands to the furniture, you can't take it off anymore. And then from here, you gotta take your legs up, get your chin down to your chest, and then from here, you start to perform that backward roll movement. The only one thing you shouldn't be doing the full backward roll is going to be just a half, only half backward roll. And so you don't hurt your neck, you can take the pillow, take it underneath and put it on the back of your head, keep your hands on your sofa, get your legs straight out, and then pretend that you want to reach something with your feet right above your head. All right, so that's the way it is. We're gonna take it nine more times. Make sure that you feel your neck comfortable. If you don't feel comfortable, don't go too far. And let's go. Nine, and engage your abs as much as you can. Eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, three, two, and one. Okay, everybody. So now, uh, we all know the stretching when you basically laying, uh, laying supine on your back and you're taking your knees right above yourself, um, just like you wanna reach the floor with the knees. So that's the thing we're gonna do now. You just lift it up, you can take your arms up, and then just try to reach the floor with both of your feet. If it hurts too much, just get your legs a little wider and push your knees down to the floor. All right, so now we're about to lock your hands right behind your calves and ankylosis. You stretch your legs out and then keep pressing your toes down to the floor. And you stand here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. It's important to spend a certain, a certain time in that position so your coordination works better. So as your coordination works better within the certain position, you're gonna feel it more confident as you lifting your trunk up. All right? Okay, guys, so the next exercise we're gonna be doing now is going to be pretty much your candlestick. And then as you perform the candlestick, this is also coordination drill. It's not as much about your abs, but this is just for better understanding how to, how to keep your trunks that high. All right? So as you going up into your candlestick, from here, your couch is gonna be touched with the bottom, so you can keep it up vertical. And then from here, you're just dropping yourself down and then lift it up. From 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, All right, well done. We don't need the chair. Um, uh, we don't need the chair for the next exercise. We're gonna use it a little bit later. Now, uh, you can <clears throat> you can take it to your to your couch and lock your hands right underneath of your furniture. Uh, or if you have a certain bench, you can take it. You can take the bench on the couch so it has a little bit of inclined surface. And then afterwards, you're gonna hold yourself on top and then just try to perform that the, the dragonfly exercise. The mana, the mana press is not is not the um, is it's not the really um, skill for beginners. So I'm showing you all of the exercises what it takes to get mana better. But before you before you start to learn how to take mana you definitely need to work and give more time for your regular V presses because as you have your V press, you can continue and push for the stronger and harder skills. If not, I would stick with, um, with shoulders flexibility, with hamstrings flexibility, and with understanding of how to get the better performance at your um, V presses first, okay? So now, 
We're gonna take the, uh, the dragonfly, the dragonfly. You're gonna start with the knees up, and then as you start to extend your legs, just keep your legs right in front of yourself, and then pull your knees up. All right, let's get a couple more. And one more. And give it a short break. Get some water. <clears throat> All right, guys, get ready. I'm gonna take the same thing for just two more sets. Two more sets and five repetitions. Anytime you perform dragonfly, you can open your legs up higher, and you can start to lower your legs down um, as long as you feel that your lower back maintain a little bit around it. So if you go with a with arch lower back and you stay super low, you gotta have very very strong abs. Okay. So get ready, steady, and begin. Five and four and three and two and one and short break. 10 seconds, and then we'll push it all over again for one more time. And time is up. Ready, set, begin. And five, and four, and three, two, and one. All right, so the next exercise we're gonna be also uh, start uh, performing with the incline bench. If you don't have the incline bench, you can do it on the floor. Just turn yourself around, and you can take your hands. You can take your hands to the base, and then as you're going up, as you're going up, you're gonna stretch your legs and try to reach the back um, of your sofa with both of your feet. So I'm gonna show you two options on the incline surface and on the, uh, on the flat surfaces. All right, so from here, you're going up, and then just keep pushing your feet back as much as you can. As you finish that, you're gonna take it down to your dragon flat position back again. All right, so great for your hip flexors, great for your lower abs, and great for your understanding for the trunk curl. All right, let's get ready. So five repetitions. Back and forth. Left position. So out of here, you can do this. You can switch your leg. You can keep your legs apart. And rest a little bit. All right. So we're gonna take the same thing for one more set. So what we do is basically your trolling fly. And while we do the different legs positions, it's just for you to be able to hold your dragon flat position in the correct position without hurting and pinching your sciatic nerves and just do it safe to yourself. All right, so one more time, five reps, and then I'll show you one more exercise with the incline bench. Go ready, three, two, one, begin. Five, four, Two and one. All right, so the next exercise we're going to be doing is it's about that position when you curl your trunk up, but now we're about to stay in that position when you when, when you're already doing the man legs horizontal position, and then out of that position we're going to start to take that little little bounces, little bounces to curl your bottom up. Okay, so you stay here, but you're constantly trying to lift your trunk even higher. All right, you're ready. Take your hands up. Lift it up. And then from here, we'll take the bounces. Four, five, four, three, two, and one. When you do so, I'm aiming that you wanna reach the wall behind you with both of your toes. I mean, with both of your feet of your toes. And constantly try to not swing as much, but try to contract 
your apps as much as possible. So it looks like I'm trying to swing, but it's actually a very, very low range of motion for your um, for your trunk curling. Okay, so this is all strength. So try to not use it um, as a swing. So don't get any momentum. You ready? Steady. And go. Five, four, three, two. And the yeah, tip for your for the man for for the for the easier man performance, you've got to make sure that I mean I'm gonna repeat myself again, but the back part of your thigh is supposed to be very flexible. Your bicep should be very flexible, and your shoulder is supposed to be um, supposed to be ready before you start to take that man um, um, harder man transition set. So, if you want to make it a little bit easier and more doable, you can keep your legs apart. If you keep your legs apart, it takes uh, a little bit less, um, a little bit less abs tension to trunk, um, to lift your trunk up. All right. And also, if you feel a lot of tension on the back part of your legs, you can keep your knees slightly bent, and you can also, uh, you can also try to take this option for yourself. So you lift it up. So you stay here. And keep pushing your knees to the wall. Keep pushing your knees to the wall. We'll take three more. Two. One more. And always try to push your knees back as far as you can, as far as possible. All right. So the next exercise we're going to be doing is is going to be a little bit less work for our abs. Um, actually, it's not abs at all. So what we're gonna do is take a stand, just do this, and do your do your regular prop flight position. Every time you will take your mana, your mana lift, and your mana work, I suggest you to turn your fingers back because otherwise, if you turn your fingers back and forwards, there is no support and it's very easy to fall unless the shoulders are and stabilizers are really really good. Okay. So what I do is I keep my fingers tips backwards and I'm gonna lift myself up and then out of this position I'm gonna squeeze my glutes and push my hips up into the ceiling direction at the same time. As I do so, I'm gonna press my shoulder down as much as possible, just the one single arm. And as I'm going into that position and my shoulder is already striding towards the floor, I'm about to start to turn my fingertips inside so I can take that uh, the bicep stretch and the better uh, the better shoulder mobility within that position. All right, so you turn it out and bring it back. You turn it out and bring it back. So if it's if it's stuck on the floor and if it's really really hard, you can take the towel and it's gonna be a little bit more doable. And you're gonna take it out. You're gonna take it in. Don't forget, you gotta keep your hips up. You gotta keep your glutes tight. And constantly keep pushing your fingertips inside. Inside. Make sure that your shoulder is hot, that you're not here, that your shoulder is all the way down. Okay? So your shoulder is all the way down. This is actually a great way to, um, for you to strengthen your shoulder itself. And this is also a great position and great exercise for you to strengthen your shoulders before you take the harder skills so you keep it safe to yourself again. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing for your opposite side. For your opposite arm. So taking it up, pressing the shoulder down, you squeeze your glutes, you're pushing it up towards the uh, ceiling, and then turn your fingertips right inside and keep pressing the shoulder down. We take it for three more, and two more, and just one more. Alright? So you're strengthening your shoulder, and at the same time, you're doing a great active stretching for your uh, for your biceps. All right, guys, we're moving forward, and the next exercise is going to be your wall tuck, your wall tuck trunk curl. And this is how we're going how we're going to do that. Again, if 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 you're not really 100% confident about your position, you can take something softer and put it right behind your back. All right, from here. You guys are gonna move your glutes and take it right in touch with the wall. Okay, so your, your glutes are gonna be in touch with the wall. 
Afterwards, you're about to take the half turn. Let me move the leg away. All right. So from here, as your glutes are in touch with the wall, you're gonna turn your feet and put it on, um, and then push it, push it up as much as you can. Afterwards, by bending of your knees. So here's the position you're gonna start from. A lot of hands flexibility. And then from here, you're gonna lock your elbows, lock your shoulders, move your heels up higher. As you're standing here, you're gonna bend your knees and trunk and, and let your trunk curl up. Just like that. And let go. You move it up and let go. Move it up, let go two more times, and one more. Why this exercise is so Useful is because you're basically taking all of the aspects and all of mana and you put them into the one bundle. So you work on your trunk curl, you work on your lower abs. It's a lot of abs tension when you do this exercise. You stretch your shoulders a lot, and at the same time, as you bend your knees and you bring it up towards to your chest, your body is staying within the horizontal position, and it's very very close and similar position as you would do the mana abs. Okay. So we're gonna do the same thing one more time. And at this time, I'm gonna show you all of this stuff sideways. So hopefully you see this wall clear enough because I'm gonna do it from the, um, from the other point of view. So take it away. All right, so now I'm moving here. So I hope that you can see me. Hopefully, let me see the computer. Yeah, you should be. So from here, guys, it's all the same. Five repetitions. Move your bottom close to the wall, actually in touch with the wall, and then bring your feet up. Bring your feet up. Extend your arms, lock your elbows, lock your shoulders, push it down, legs up. Again, for the easier performance, bring your feet apart. Get ready. Curl your bottom up for five, four, Three, two, and one more. All right, so as you bring your feet on the wall, try to stick your feet to the wall. So you shouldn't be moving, all right? So if you do work with your socks on, and if you wanna make a better, uh, a better um, <clears throat> feet position and easier performance, you can also take your shoes on. All right, guys, so the next one is going to be the wall slide. For the wall slide, we're going to start within the same body position. And you're going to take the towel, fold it a few times, and you're going to take your heels on the towel so you can slide your feet up as high as possible, um, a lot more slippery. And this is a great exercise for your shoulder stretch, for your bicep stretch, um, and for your, for your uh, upper abs as well. Okay, this is like a killer. So same body position, hips in touch with the wall, get your feet on the towel. As you get your feet on the towel, you take it on, move it up a little bit higher, take your hands behind, move closer, and we're gonna take five lifts, five slides. Ready, steady, go. Five. And four and three and two and one. Remember, we were doing this movement when you were taking your palm down to the floor and when you were pressing it down and turning it outside. It's it should be the same similar feeling of your shoulders when you do that. So on the sides of your abs work and on the sides of your shoulder contraction and pushing it down, at the same time, try to do this with your hands. All right, get ready guys. One more time, one more time. Same exercise, just one more time. Get ready, set. 
Hips in touch with the wall and begin. Five and four and three and two and one. Whew, it's quite a workout. Alright, so the next thing just for us to get a quick recovery for our shoulders, we're gonna take the upside down pipe and hold it for a little while, and then I'm gonna show you one dynamic swing, uh, swimming exercise for men. Alright, so now just get your body into this recline position, laying your back, and for about 20 seconds, you just relax and stretch the back part of your thighs. Ready, steady, go. Fifteen to go. Ten more. And five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Okay, so now this is why we uh, we still need the couch or soft chair of today. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna sit on the couch with our bottom as we do, but at this time we're gonna turn opposite way. So our legs are not gonna be here, our legs are supposed to be over there, like on the back. And why do we need a pillow or two or books? Is because as you take your trunk and your bottom and you sit on the chair, the, um, the angle in your shoulder joint should be, should be right 90 degree. Okay, so 90 degree as you take your hand down within your armpit. It might be a little bit less, but the most comfortable position and the most doable position and the more beneficial um, way for you to get this exercise is to get the 90 degree, uh, 90 degree angle in your shoulders. Okay, so you take the pillow, um, I mean, I put the pillow, maybe your, maybe your couch or maybe your soft chair is a little bit higher, but I do that and I'm going to put my mat so my palms, so my palm hands are not that slippery. From here, I'm going to start it from the sideways position and I'm going to turn my feet up. So this is where we're going to start it from, okay? It's, it's a lot better to do if you have high mats, but if you don't, you can always replace it with a home furniture, okay? So from here, guys, don't forget that position of your hands. You gotta make sure that you're still pressing your palms down, pushing your shoulders down, externally rotate your palms outside, um, and never take your shoulder blades together. So keep them protracted, or protracted rather than keep them retracted. Um, from here, you're gonna keep your knees slightly bent, and let the only, let the only mm, end of your hips, the only end of your bottom stay on the, on the couch. All right, and then from here, we're gonna take that light swing. Again, if you're scared of falling, put something soft behind your side. All right, and then from here, we're gonna take that tiny swing, a tiny swing, and try to press and push your knees on your shoulders, okay? We're gonna take for three more, two, and one more. All right, rest a little bit, and the two more options you can take, the next one is obviously a little bit harder, and then the last one is gonna be the hardest one, okay? So get ready, five repetitions, one leg in, one leg out. Three, two, one, go. And five, four, three, two, and one. You can also do the same thing for the opposite leg bent, and the opposite leg straight out, uh, and when you feel it comfortable enough, you're going to start to take both of your legs apart. Oops, looks like I've lost connection a little bit there. Hold on. Four. Three. Hold on. Oh, no. Eight. 
and taking it down. Uh, Hold on, Mick, we lost quite a bit of video there. Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, cool. Yeah. All right, yeah, we lost okay. a bit of video on that last set there, but I assume it's just the normal set. Hello? Yeah, yeah, it's like breaking up a little. Yeah, we just lost the uh, last set there. The video crashed. Uh, okay. All right, so anyway, we, we, we're almost done. We're almost done, and I just wanted to give you a few different uh, conditioning exercises of how to get your abs stronger. And so here's what we're gonna do. The first one, uh, the first exercise is gonna be your L press swinging, and it's also great if you have either. Uh, Parallels or a couple of yoga blocks. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. You take your equipment, you take your tools, and afterwards, as you take it into your L press, we're gonna start to swing it back and forth. So here's what we're gonna do. This is how you start it. You lift it up, and then you start to push your feet forward as far as you can, but at the same time, make sure that you maintain yourself up in the air as you completely stretch your leg forward, you're going to start to swing your hips backwards. And this way, you're just going to start to take it um, back and forth. All right, ready, steady, go. Now we go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, Whew. great for that. Great that stuff. All right, let's go. We're going to take the next exercise uh, is going to be about your um, <laughs> it's, going to, it's going to be pretty much the same but we're going to take the resistance band and take it on your feet for one more time alright, and as you hold the regular pipe curl, this is basically the exercise for your hip flexors mostly for your abs and uh, secondarily uh, so what we're gonna do, you take, you take the bat and keep it right on your neck. Um, from here, as you perform the regular, the regular L press, you're gonna start to kick one leg at a time, one leg at a time, and keep holding the regular press. So 10 times as well, ready, set, begin. And we'll go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, and take this seat. Whew. All right, guys. So I'm gonna give you a few more exercises for your for your shoulders mobility. And as we know, we shouldn't stretch much when we do the strength sessions. If you want to develop better strength within a certain body area, so but we still want to make sure that we have enough mobility for our joints. So that's why we're going to do the active stretch, and we're going to do only um, the mobility exercises. If you want to stretch your shoulders, and if you want to stretch um, mm, the body parts we've been working today on, you can do it tomorrow. So it's a lot better if you strengthen your abs tomorrow. Uh, it's a little better if you, strength, if you stretch your shoulders tomorrow because all of your muscle stabilizers, all of your abs muscles, they're like under the contraction mode and you're gonna develop the strength a lot, a lot faster if you're going to stretch on the next day. So let it, let it uh, stay under that contraction mode by itself for today, okay? Uh, but don't neglect the flexibility and don't ne neglect um, the, the, the mobility exercises, all right? Because without that, all of the dynamic skills are, um, it's, it's really hard or you can do it with the poor execution. All right, so what we're gonna do, you're gonna lay down on your back and then on your belly, take your hands behind your back and let your palms look down. As your palms looking down, you're about to take it right above your head and take it right in front of yourself. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. 10 times, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
three, two, and one. I'm ready. On the next one, take your arm right above yourself, and we're gonna take a little bit of triceps stretching and a little bit of triceps uh, contraction again. Okay, so put it down just to release. It's a lot of tricep stabilizers as well when you hold it. When you first start to work with mana or B presses, you're gonna feel a tremendous soreness on the back part of your arm. So your tricep should be screaming every time you're working on it. Okay, guys, a couple more times. So with your arm. And ready, set, begin. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, do your hand to the side, move it one way, over your head, other side, over your head. And of course, give enough mobility for your wrists. Take your hand right in front of yourself. Step with your knees right inside of your palm height. And then move your elbows down towards your thighs. You stay here. Five more. Four, three, two, and one. All right, step off. Take your hands with the fingertips looking forward. And shake it up a little bit. All right, so you can definitely stretch your hands, and you can definitely uh, give enough flexibility time for the back part of your legs because there is no strength movement you do with your legs today. But shoulders, your hip flexors, and your abs, I would I would recommend to stretch on the next day. You can stretch a little bit for maybe like. 30 seconds each body part, but then the main stretching time is a lot more useful for the next day. So you can build more strength and take your strength benefits faster. Okay? Alright, everybody. So, um, thank you for watching and thank you for letting me do this streaming for you today. Thank you for joining, thank you for watching, and hopefully, maybe training with me at the same time. Um, I want to say that if you ever need any, any help uh, with all of your uh, bodyweight skills remotely, you can definitely keep me out and um, I'm going to be happy to assist you with that. Uh, and if just overall you have any questions about the flexibility, about the mobility or injury prevention for a certain, for a certain skill or from a certain skill, you can also definitely let me know. All right. Cool. Um, yeah. So I think I think this is enough for today. I was I was trying to give you um, as much as possible. There is very way more um, way more other exercises you can do for mana. And today I just basically showed you whatever you can work on when you're staying at home. So if you lack of equipment. Um, you can always work on your bodyweight skills when you just pretty much have yourself and, and to move. So guys, stay safe and I hope that um, we're going to see each other someday, very soon, yeah, <laughs> either you online. Make, or hopefully you make online. it up here soon. Yeah, that would be great. So hopefully all that disaster is going to pass away and it's going to be easier to travel the world and share that world with us. And all the ladies can watch the, uh, see your muscles in person. <laughs> so yeah, uh, so Gary, is there anything else I can do for you today? No, that's all. Uh, yeah, we'll end the stream here. Hello everyone, I'm sure you can see me, but um, yeah, thank you for watching. I know there's a few glitches, but yeah, it's the best we can do for the moment with our...
you know, sending the stream all the way from Russia, but it's a lot better today for sure. So oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, today today was today was a lot better. All right, well then beautiful. Thank you, Gary, for all of your help as well. And it's it's better of you know do all this stuff for you guys. Sweet. All right, stand line, Nick. Uh, I'll end the stream here. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you next time. All right, thank you, guys. Stay safe. Bye bye.